So the difference between noise and music is whether we can recognize the pattern or not. Um, and I find that very, very interesting uh, because you know our brains um, desire to find patterns in everything leads to things like stereotype. It's our brain being lazy. At the same time, that's how we make sense of the world. And so how do we sort of negotiate that, right? I'll just play the beginning of it. So it's, it's like waltz, slow waltz, one, two, three, one, two, three. And there are these three note motives that keep coming back. Dum, bum, ba, bum, 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 dun, dun, da, dun, 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 right? And I want you to just pad yourself like a mother with a baby, right? Okay, so I will call your attention to how that three note motive changed so much depending on the context, right? That's one thing, but it's higher, right? And then relaxes a little bit. So you can say the same thing, you can sing the same song, but depending on the pitch of your choice and the pacing and the harmony, it can have a completely different meaning, right? Um, that's a part of what I meant when I said that we pay so much attention to the content, but not as much to everything else, the, the information that we can gather from the sound and how it's delivered. And the thing about being a pianist is that what the content is already kind of decided for us, right? The notes that we play, we do not deviate from the score. But how to deliver it is entirely up to us. And so I get to actually think about it every day when I practice the piano, how our delivery can change the meaning of an already decided content altogether.